Hey folks, this is Rod with Win By Doing. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a great week selling on eBay. I'm coming to you with a video on what sold on eBay this last week. Been, I think it was the 12th that I came out with my last video. And, you know, the last week was a whirlwind week. We ended up going over. So proud of my daughter. She graduated Navy basic training. So we drove over to Chicago and back. Left last Tuesday and headed over there. Got to see how much my daughter had grown up in the last several weeks going through basic training. And saw the ceremony. Got to spend a little bit of time with her uh, Saturday, Friday afternoon. And then she shift, shipped off to her A school. And we left Saturday morning to head back. And made it in yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, early evening. And during that time, if you're wondering what I did with my store, I went ahead and put it on vacation mode until Friday night. That way I could still, anything that came in after Friday night, I could still maintain my one-day handling because eBay didn't count the weekends. And during that time, we did make a couple of sales through the week, I just notified the customer, the purchaser, that we would not ship the items out until our return, and they wouldn't go out until Monday. And then I had some items sell through the weekend, and then this morning, everything that came through, I, when we got home, got everything situated, and packed them, print out shipping labels, stuck them on, got ready for shipment. The ones that came in overnight and this morning, I went in and packed them and got them ready for shipping. And my wife took them to the post office this morning. So they are out the door. And even with us being gone for the week, we still made some sales. And that's what we're bringing to you now. The first item we have is a Ralph Lauren Women's 2X Red Linen long sleeve shirt with the roll up tabs ended up selling it for 18.99 and it was it was a pretty nice shirt of course I, I still have to work on my images i think i might have to get some kind of tripod because i just can't hold my hands still enough so it's a little bit blurry but the shirt was in excellent condition and ended up selling it out the door and there you go. After you know, this one was sourced in home, meaning it came out of my wife's closet of items that she no longer wears. And, you know, so I consider we got a use out of it. So I'm not counting any costs for purchase of the item. It, it really was probably, it originally retailed for probably about 100 bucks. But, you know, my wife, she bought it probably on clearance and at a good discount. Wore it a couple of times, so out the door, eighteen ninety nine plus shipping. The next item, I bought this shirt years ago at a thrift store for myself because I love t-shirts. It's a Gonzaga University Go Bulldogs 2X t-shirt. Like I said, I purchased it, wore it a few times, and so, you know, buying it at a goodwill, I probably only paid, you know, two or three, four bucks for it. And um, it did have some slight staining there. Put it in the description. I went ahead and put it on just because of the material, the the content, you know, I, I knew there was going to be a Gonzaga fan out there that was just dying to have a shirt to celebrate their team. So $7.99 plus $3.39 shipping. The next one. This is another one home sourced. I had, we had a Wii years ago. You know, I I had at the time four daughters that were living with us. I had a fifth one. That's not we're not counting the the old the youngest one because she wasn't around at the time. Anyway, had had a Wii for them. They uh, I don't even know where the Wii is. It's probably stuck in a box somewhere. I've got boxes and boxes of of items that I'm still waiting to go through. 
trying to clear things out and make a buck out of doing so instead of just taking them straight to donation mode or you know garage sale and this particular one went out the door twelve dollars plus shipping and the other controller which actually also had the the rubber grip on it sold it for thirteen dollars now one of these, I, I can't remember which one, one of them is waiting to be shipped. I'm waiting for payment. It is my first international order. So I am waiting for payment before I ship that out. We'll see how that goes. The next item up is a Small Girl 66X t-shirt. Disney Teen Beach Movie. This belonged to one of my, well, it belonged to my nine-year-old. That, that's nine now. And finally, it went out the door at five ninety nine plus shipping. Another home sourced item. I don't know if you guys remember or saw the other video of my auction haul. I bought a few boxes of miscellaneous stuff. I get in this mode when I go to go to the auction, and I see something that has not been bid on, and I just have to pull the trigger. I figured two bucks, I should be able to at least get part of that money back, right? Well, this is an instance. One of the boxes that I paid two bucks for, I've got the invoice right here. It was piano and organ music books. There were 10 bucks total. I slotted out the seven organ sheet music books and I paid $2 for that box. And as you can see, I got my return back for that box. And quite frankly, I paid for a few of the other low cost items I, I picked up. So I'm still considering, even though I haven't redeemed the entire 76, uh, 76, 66 was my entire balance for that auction. I haven't got all that money back, but hey, I'm well on my way with $12.99 plus $312 ship media mail out the door. Another one from this same haul. This oil painting on canvas. Painter and not known. Mark looks like an H. I don't know anything about paintings. This was in another box that was labeled. Yeah, I paid three dollars. Oh, I paid up for that one. Three dollars. Vintage magazine sheet music. Miscellaneous magazine sheet music. Two paintings. Miscellaneous. Of three bucks. I figured. You know what? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I put these paintings up, both of them. This one, you can see right there, right over there. I don't know if you can see that H mark. This thing could be worth thousands of dollars. I do not know, but you know what? I sold it $3 plus $6.65 shipping out the door. And we'll see. I, I, I am very tempted just to contact the buyer and say, look, you know, I don't care if it's worth thousands. I just got to know and see if they'll tell me what it was actually valued at. Because I think that if I'm going to buy this miscellaneous art in these, these piles, I need to find a way to determine if there's any value or not. I've got another one out there with the title Milo. I do know that that signature, well, Milo paintings start, you know, they comp for around 50 bucks. The only problem is, is the signature isn't exact. It's pretty close, except for the L. There's a little, the, the bottom line on the L is a little bit longer than the ones that I've seen. I just, if, if anybody can tell me how I can do research on these paintings, give me some direction, please. I need the help. But I'm still content with getting $3 for this painting here. And uh, like I said, that three dollars plus the twelve ninety nine before, well, on my way of paying off the fifth, the seventy six dollars I spent on that auction. I'm still, I, I, I hold that. I know that I'm going to make a, quite a bit of profit on that that haul because I've got some higher higher end items that will more than cover the cost. But hey. I'm excited to get rid of one of the paintings out of my $3 box for the price of the box, $3 plus shipping out the door. The next item I have out here is this Jennifer Moore 1X Fleece Zip-Up Vest. 
This was home sourced. It was in really good condition. Took front back, folded it up nice and neat. This is pretty much how I ship them out going out. And again, the tag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Jennifer Moore 1X. Oh, there, there it is. I need, need to shrink my screen down so I can get all of that. But out the door, $18.99 plus shipping. The next item, women's business pantsuit. You know what? I had the uh, jacket posted for around eight or nine dollars. I didn't have the pants at the time. This is another one home source. We are going through bags of clothing and it was listed for probably three or four weeks. Just the jacket alone. Weren't getting any hits. I finally put the pants with it when we found them, packaged it up, took the pictures, and I listed it for $34.99 plus shipping. I ended up taking an offer of $25. And it went out to the post office this morning. It should be receiving in a few days. So congratulations to that buyer for that purchase of a brand new used pantsuit. This next one. This is another uh, home source item. This, I priced it. Priced it low. I ended up taking an offer of five dollars, and the reason I took the offer, one thing, it was home sourced. But if you can see the quality, the condition of the sleeves there, they're a little bit ratted out. Other than that, they were in pretty decent condition. I'll see if I can get a better picture of the sleeve. You can see right there at the bottom of it, it was there was some wear, and there's another image where you can kind of get a better idea. But and then there there was some, there was just there was just some some issues all the way around. Nothing major. I mean, it'll still be a comfortable hooded sweatshirt for whoever purchased it. But I ended up going ahead and taking the offer of five dollars plus shipping. Went out in a flat rate envelope, six sixty five out the door. Glad to get rid of that item. I got boxes of stuff that I still have to list, and I'm just. Trying to clear out some of this inventory so I can put new stuff up. The next item, two pairs of Miss Me jeans. Back there. Okay. I put these on auction at starting at $15. They went all the way up to $28. Miss Me jeans, you think, you know, I should have probably got $20, $30 a piece for them. At least. But... Miss Me Jeans, you know, the thing about Miss Me Jeans, when you go in and purchase a pair of Miss, Je Miss Me Jeans, from my understanding, they really pressure you to order a size or two small. Or per to buy, you know, a size or two small. They want you to peel them damn things on. And the way that I, me personally, when I saw the construction of these jeans, you know, if you're gonna, if if it's meant to be worn that way, you better get some higher quality fabric, folks. Well, the reason they were, I put them on on auction is you can't really see it right there by the pocket. There's there's a couple of tears where the fabric just stretched. I've got some. There's there's the better image. You can see right there on the right of that image where the fabric had stretched out there's actually elastic in the denim that it pretty much just run it runs once once it stretches or you get a broken thread in there i think it just runs i think that that flaw was factory made i think it was supposed to look like that but um, there was another one down along the pant leg there's a better image of the tears in the in the butt area and both pairs actually this one you can't really see well from that that image but I went in and took a image of the the butt because you know that's what they're that's what it's all about is a bling on the butt who knows you know I don't wear them but you know there's a lot of people that do 
But knowing that they were at, they were flawed, I packaged both of them together in a lot and ended up making, I would say, more than what I anticipated. I thought that I would have some interest, but I didn't think they would have went all the way up to 28 bucks. Someone's going to have a nut. Someone that knows what they're doing, they're going to either be able to take a fabric patch from underneath and iron it in there to kind of seal those closed or maybe take some needle and thread of similar color and and mend them but they're going to end up with you know pretty nice pairs of jeans at a huge discount from what they normally go for so it just goes to show some of these items go ahead and list even if there are defects just make sure that you put all the defects in your description i put in the item condition i put read description for flaws so the buyer is completely aware of what they're getting. There's not going to be any surprises. And there you go. The $28 plus $660, sh sh $665 shipping. Flat rate envelope, believe it or not. I went ahead and put them in my clear poly bags. Pressed all the air out of them to get them compressed as possible. And believe me. Just like you shove your butt into those jeans, I shove those jeans into the flat rate envelope, tight as can be, out the door. Next item up. Back in the day when I started last November with my first haul at, you know, I did a Hastings, they were closing, going, they went out of business, closing the store. All my items, I averaged out about 29 cents a, a piece. So that's what I have into the item. So this one's been sitting for a while. It wasn't in the complete package. It was a spec iPad 2, iPad 3rd generation, smart shell, black hard case. Ended up taking an offer of $5. I had it at $9.99. Put a 20% off sale on a lot of the items in my store. Took the offer of five dollars, even with fees, I still made about three or four bucks off the item, based off of what I originally paid. I was glad to get it out of my inventory. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. No, that's not an ad for the app. I'm just saying you gotta let things go out of inventory so you can get new stuff out there. The next one, I told you in the last haul, mentioned that we are. I went through all of our DVDs, games, etc., 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 and this is one of the movies. Spirit. It was, a, I believe, it's a, a Disney movie. It works. It was pretty good condition, and going out media mail sold it for three thirty eight. So I made a buck and a half, maybe uh, two at the most off the item after you figure. Uh, eBay fees, you know, your the shipping, you know, fee that they attach on that, and PayPal fees. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. So, again, just trying to clear out some of this stuff out of my inventory. So, some things I could probably get another buck or two out of it, but you have to draw the line somewhere. You have to get inventory out so you can get new stuff in. So some of these items, it's going to be what I I guess I consider bread and butter. Just get a buck or two here, a buck or two there. Get things moving from your store, through your store, and make your customers happy. Give them what they want. This next item, I paid about three bucks at this. This is one of my, I, I had a haul video. It was a Lane Bryant 1820 black short sleeve. It had that faux leather front scoop neck top. And I ended up getting 1039. No, actually, you know what? I took an offer eight bucks on this. And um, I was glad to see some of that inventory moving again. So I still made about, you know, five, six, five or six bucks profit off the item. Another one of our home sourced DVDs. Walt Disney presents Treasure Island, four thirty nine plus shipping using media mail out the door. We music that one just sold this morning. 
was able to get it out before my wife headed to the post office. Ended up getting 475. This is actually a brand new game, got a hell of a deal. And the game went out. Don't do media shipping on video games. This went out first class. So 475 plus 303 shipping out the door. And the last item I had, this is Home Source Books. There was a Christian fiction lot of five Kingsbury with Smalley. There was five books. Ended up getting 1039 plus shipping, 459 for shipping, going media mail. And that was my haul for the week. So things are picking up, you know, for this noob, newbie, uh, eBay flipper. But hey, I've got my inventory. I've got probably about three grand worth of inventory sitting out there. I've been turning all the money back into the business. And I am, my sales are increasing. I've, I've reached the top seller, you know, all the criteria for that. And I am just about ready, I think, to increase the level of my store i think i'm going to give it one more month i i you know last month i went ahead and converted over to a store instead of an individual seller now i'm ready i'm almost ready to go pro seller and i guess i'm just saying that just to let you know you know i do this part time i do get some help from my wife she does do some of the listings she does she runs things to the post office for me helps me get supplies if I needed to pick something up out and about. But it is something you can do. Don't expect to get rich real quick if you're just starting out part-time, but it is a viable source of income as far as I'm concerned. By no means will it replace my full-time job, not at this point. But hey, I'm learning along the way, and that's what it's all about. Well, this is a quick video and this is the way i end all of them please hit like and subscribe if you want to get i think that's over there hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content if you want to get notifications hit that little bell down there next to the subscribe button that'll give you a notification when i do put new content out there or you know i i plan on i i used to do streaming on a different platform streaming video games and gameplay and i just haven't made that commitment to start streaming this on on this platform with this content but i am considering it so i guess the point is if you do want to get notifications when i do go live go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications thumbs up if you like it if you do feel you need to put do a thumbs down Please leave some constructive criticism down in the comments if you do have comments on any other things. Also, on the art, if you can give me any idea on art or where I should start to do research on that, um, I would be I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, that is it for the day. You guys have a great selling week. And if you haven't started yet, start today because you know what you can only win by doing. That's my little plug for my blog up there at the top. And uh, I I try to do, just to give you a little idea, I try to do articles and blogs on ways to make money, whether it be online or offline. Just, you know, all of us trying to get a little bit ahead any way that we can. Uh, but stop by, check it out, leave comments on that as well. And uh, that's it for now. Anyway, I will catch you somewhere during the week with another video. I've got an auction ending today that I'm participating in. So I will hopefully, if I want all everything that I bid on or any of the things I bid on, hopefully I'll be putting out a haul, auction haul video as soon as I get those items. Anyway, that's it for today. Peace out.